And uh, I'm working on a 2018 Tesla Model 3. And I bought this one from auction. So they put a salvage because of this. You see, so tiny. It just cost me around like 30, 40, 50 dollars, somewhere down there, below 50 dollars. Yeah. Because of this, the whole car got total. And uh, it looks like tiny plastic piece, but for this, we have to replace whole battery. And a battery costs, I think, around $15,000 with the Tesla. But I mean, if, if you buy it outside, around $7,000, $8,000. Yeah, so, so what I'm trying to do today, uh, so a couple of videos, uh, not a couple, only one video, as gentleman, he posted. So I saw that you, he did something and, and I like it. So what I'll do, I'll try to chop this one from here, go this way, up, and I'll bring it back. So basically I'll remove this piece. Go on. I'll remove this piece, the hole, okay? Remove it out. And I already bought the part. This part, I have it here. Okay, I have it, I'll show you in a part. So I'll put that part, and I have this whole assembly. From the, from the middle, I have a new one. And the bottom part, this piece, I'm gonna put a new steel one, not the plastic one, I'll throw this. And I'm gonna buy a shield, uh, the guard, like you know, the, the shield here for this area. And there is another protection piece comes, it's gonna be here, so it will protect my other hoses uh, in the future. So this is basically a, uh, a coolant line goes through the battery to cool the battery. So, because of this, I stopped charging my vehicle, and then I want to work on it here. Yeah? And this one also, while I'm here, so let me buy this and change it. I'll give you more update on this, and uh, thank you. Stay tuned. So, what what do you need to do this job? Need a glove, okay, grinder, and goggles, okay. It's not a steel, I thought maybe, but it's aluminum, uh, and this one. So whenever, you know, those edges where the grinder doesn't go. So that's why you're gonna start banging with this. And you need a good hammer, not that much, that's it. So this piece is out. Yeah. Whoop. And now this one's broken. So what I'll do, I just need to remove the tab, this tab, and I put a new one. I have the new one replacement. Put it and then seal this one back again, that's it. So, and this pipe also is broken. So I'm waiting for the pipe to come. And that's it. Same time, I need to finish working on a lower control arm. Two pieces, so I'll need the inner one. This one also needs to go. And that's it. But the sad news, my Tesla battery dead. Okay guys, this is on my left side. This one is broken one. You see that it's broken. And this is the new one. They look same. And it came out of this area. Inside we have a lot of things. I don't know what is there, but I don't want to go in more in detail. But yes, it's right here. And I'm just, I made, I made my own tool. I don't know where is the tool, but yeah. Spot was not easy to remove. So I made a tool. I saw a video, I'll try to put his uh, video also. He made something like this. So uh, uh, it's, it's made out of plastic to put it in here. Okay, like this. And th there's a hose up here. So it'll be easy, like, you know, when you, when you put this tool, you can do it by yourself. Otherwise you need two people, like one person gonna hold it and one gonna pull the device out. Anyway, uh, I'll try to give you more update and I'm still waiting for the pipe to come and the UPS guy is not here, so... Okay, I managed to put this one back again. Now, I'm gonna put this piece back. It's gonna go like this. Okay. And I'll tighten, I'll tighten the screw and then I'm gonna put... Because it, I can't weld this one, so I'll put a glue on it. And that's it. And I'm waiting for this. Still the UPS guy is not here. This one comes and I'm gonna attach it. Okay, this thing is ready. Just need to go get some, uh, uh, what do you call the fiberglass uh, tube. 
and that's it seal this one and wait for the, the new hose to come connect it that's it but i need to close this whole area seal it well so that no water dust or debris will go and after that i have new guard i'm just going to put it here for the it'll be more safety well uh i managed to remove the old broken part here and this is the new one it's actually not new because uh, you want i mean i tried to search everywhere to buy a brand new one but it's not available i don't think that tesla do sell those uh, pipes or anything but anyway i managed to uh, get it from ebay it's a pre-owned but it looks okay everything is all right now this part number i'm gonna keep it here it says all-wheel drive but it's wrong it should be a rear wheel drive. Well, I'm telling you this because uh, the all wheel drive will have one extra, extra like this somewhere here. So that will go to cool your, uh, the, the front motor. So, so this is for the rear wheel drive only, okay? Remember, one, two, three, four, one, two three four so if you get extra one extra that means that will be for all-wheel drive which has uh, another motor in the front mine is like a rear wheel drive so i bought this one okay this was the only one available uh, uh in ebay but yeah you can search but this is what you need to buy if you want to buy the other part which i put it uh, the broken part i will uh I'll try to give you, you know what, just give me a second, let me, it was inside this box, I don't know if this is going to help, if you scan it, maybe it will take you to Google or somewhere, that's where you're going to, you know, you'll be able to buy that part, but yeah, this was the broken one, it was actually broken from here, I could fix it, but because of uh, the space was really tight and I can't, I couldn't do much work, I could, you know, cut this, and uh, put another piece and it should work, but no need. I bought it for what I'm on, 45, $50, something like that. But uh, yeah. All right, okay, I will uh, keep posting. Uh, yeah, I bought the water, the coolant. It should be G48. And let me take you down here. <coughs> this one, I need to work on it today. Soon I'm done with the hoses and everything and I'll work on this. Uh, secure this completely then I will continue yeah it's somewhere it's a little bit dark there but yes this is what it is thank you okay this one says for Tesla so we're gonna fill it up here and where is the mark can't see the mark but yeah should be somewhere I think it's inside there yeah yeah it's there so that's where the mark gonna be. And let's start the process. And this should be the last uh, final touch. But this car is already dead, so I need to recharge the battery. It might gonna take a long time. See what I did, I removed those two uh, cables. Cause this is a, it's, it's a motor for radiator or reservoir. This one also I removed it. Cause it was keep running and there's no water. I was afraid it might gonna burn. Uh, burn this one the uh, the fan or the motor that's why I removed it and uh, I'll give you a bit again yeah anyway this is it's the radiator cooling radiator and uh, what do you call it the fan is underneath this this is where uh, the radiator and the fan sits it's on the front guys quick update you see the label there is max that's where you should put the water level okay the motors are working everything is all right here so far so good i did a visual inspection down if you see there those were my hoses yes right here one tab okay there's one down there i should should have two on this side and one in the end so far so good just need need to clean it up 
This car came from uh, New Mexico, so that's like you know, a little bit of sand and dust and debris on that side. Just had to clean it up. But overall, everything is all right. I managed to buy a charger, which is like not really fast charge, but yes. So I don't know what this thing is doing, but it looks like it's charging. And what are you saying inside? All yeah, right, it'll unlock. Oh. I already put the glue, and now I'm gonna put the inner liner or fender liner. So I bought the fender liner. I'm just gonna put this one today and the car should be complete. I just bought a new mud flap. It was so easy to install, just to tab. It's so easy. And this is the guard. Uh, it's too hot today. And right here, shield is there. I have another piece goes under, under here. I'm gonna put that one to protect. So this is solid. I hope it's gonna protect the car. So almost done. This is the final product. The guard is there, mud flap. And I put the, this piece. It looks so good. And there's a protection issue. It will protect in the future at all rock and chip oh thank you